Also, we got a new toy in the house. Got an 03 Predator 500. Uh, it's got brand new Maxxis front tires on it. Rear a little worn out. Uh, not too bad, though. Black ribs. They don't look too bad at all. Got to check the brakes on it. Headlights. I guess someone put like a red tape on them. I'm going to take all that stuff off. The headlights are loose, too. All the plastics and everything are loose. Um, headlights work, though. They're stuck in the opposition. Put some LEDs on it under the plastic. That's pretty sick. Um... This is it. This is the way I got it. Uh, back plastic's cracked up, as you can see. Uh, this paint, I'm going to see if I can get this stuff off and try to get it back to the original color. Um, where's the freaking lever? Either that, I'll just look for a cheap set of plastics to throw them on. Uh, he took the uh, air box out and just put a straight can in on the filter. On the, uh, on the pipe. On the air inlet tube, that's what I should say. So, that's nice. He put an aftermarket pipe on it. Painted that. Uh, Axel White, he kind of copied my combo that I would do. There's something loose on it, though, because whenever you rev it up, it, yeah, that's what it is. But uh, whenever you rev it up, it kind of sounds like the engine's about to fall out. We'll see, though. Um, it's not in bad shape. I plan on repainting the front A-arms black, as of now I'm just going to leave them. Um, picked it up for $550. Uh reason why I got it cheap is because it's an 03, and if anybody knows 03s, you guys don't know. It had, they have tranny problems. Well, this one's got more than a tranny problem. The throttle sensor shot, so I'm going to have to either pick up a new one or just tie the wires together. I plan on just tying the wires together, but I'm not sure yet. Um, the jetting is perfect. I can already tell. The rear swing arm bearings and axle bearings are completely toast. And the handlebars have way too much play. The steering box is shot, as you can see, I'm wiggling it. The wheels ain't even moving. So it needs a steering box and tie rods. So by the time I'm done, I'm probably going to have about 12 hundred altogether in this thing. The re main reason why I say that is because also, as you guys know, these quads, trannies always go. So what do you think's wrong with this one? Trannies fried. When you put it in first gear, it pops out. When you shift to second, it's fine. When you shift to third, it's in your neutral, and then you can't get past third. So it's either a fork, which I think it's a fork, or a bad tranny. I'm going to be inspecting it when it comes apart. Most likely it's a tranny because... O3s were known to have completely weak trannies. I'm putting an O4 tranny because O4s have the good tranny. So I think the main reason why it blew is this sucker right here, which the guy did not even know about. See, hot seat? That is a 565 big bore kit, if I am correct. 565 big bore kit on a stock transmission in these things? That is not the thing you're going to want to do. So therefore, I think this has too much power for the stock transmission. So, therefore, I'm going to put an 04 tranny in it. It has the vapor on it. This should be the temperature sensor. Right now, the, vape, the vapor of the trail tech's not working. Plastics are loose. Gas tank's loose. It runs. Just battery's dead right now because the headlights are always on. These grips suck. I'm going to be changing them. Uh, yeah, so a lot of things are fried on it. The frame's not in that bad of shape. As I said, back plastics are basically toast. Yeah, need new bolts, too. It's got... Um, aftermarket hubs on it. Looks like the rear brakes are halfway, so I'm probably going to change them since it's only 5 10 bucks. The chain is completely loose, and it gets loose as you wiggle around the quad because the rear axle bearing, because you can see the rear bearing actually popped out, and then the axle bearings are just toast. It rolls okay, but not that well. I drove it down my drive, and I felt like the quad was going to come, like the motor and everything was just going to fall out in front of me, so this is definitely going to be a fun toy to work on. I do not have time to work on it now because I'm doing the 660 motor and the 660 is down to the frame. So basically I got to buy paint for the 660 so I can paint up the frame and then throw it all back together. So basically I'm going to do that motor uh, for the Raptor 660 and then I'm going to take the KX apart and do the second gear because I might already have a buyer for this. And then I'm going to be doing the Predator. In the meantime, I posted it for sale the way it is just to see if I can get any bites on it. If I don't, I can keep it here. I don't care. It's a nice quad, suspension's nice, Fox Racing, of course, they all come stock with Fox Racing. It's really nice, brakes all work, they don't work the be they're not the best, but they work. I mean, not a bad quad for 550 bucks, especially by the time I'm done with it, it's going to be hot. But, plastics were all spray painted away, I'm going to see if I can get that, uh, get another set of plastics for it. Maybe the original set, we'll see, but there you go, talk to you guys later, goodbye.